i hope you are all fine in uh, quarantine time let's see today how to use microsoft powerpoint to teach online effectively i'm going to tell you two different ways uh, one is using a pen tablet the other one is uh, if you do not have pen tablet that's okay i'm going to give you an alternative way to uh, use the powerpoint and then uh, gonna show you some of the facilities which you can use in inside the powerpoint and then teach online which does not have any uh, problem with the students okay so far i am teaching in this method and i don't feel any problem so far which is appearing from the student side as well and all the students are appreciating this way of approach okay so let's see first of all uh, uh, what and all we can do with uh, powerpoint right now i'm in the microsoft powerpoint let me minimize it for you um there are two things you can do you can just start preparing the slides and keep on going i'm going to do that in a second and before that suppose if you do not have a pen tablet to write anything on in your uh, uh, slides what you can do you can prepare a handwritten notes like what i have right now here is uh, one of the handwritten notes prepared by one of our faculties here and i'm going to use this to demonstrate how you can turn this to a slide and then uh, make it very useful for the students to understand and make it very useful for you to also explain it in the class okay uh, i'm going to use uh, my uh, capture area portion here this is a pdf file what we have done is this uh, notes written in the plain paper and then scanned in uh, scanned it using a, some uh, scanning software in mobile itself and then converted into a pdf file that's what happened here then now i'm going to use this in a capture uh, i am using right now mono shot in my mac but you can use your uh, screenshot in your uh, i think it is snapshot in your windows if you are using windows and linux also there is some uh, scanning tool is available screenshot tool is available now i'm going to see this so i am just selecting all of this into uh, i'm just selecting it and then it's automatically for me it is adding to the clipboard for copying you can also uh, save it as a file but i would like to just copy it and then paste it in my powerpoint so i'm going to use uh, my powerpoint so i'm going to prepare a new presentation here so it's an empty uh, presentation has been made here so i'm going to just paste it in my clipboard so that gives me a clean and neat presentation over here so i'm going to take two more here for you let's say suppose i want uh, uh, the properties of jacobian the first property I'm just clipping off and then i'm making a new slide here and then pasting that also as well here so let's say that's let's say that is scheduled here and then uh, i have one more property here which is i can also scan it and then just paste it here so that's going to be something here okay i can change this slides to empty slide if you are feeling uh, difficulty in having the placeholders etc so these are the slides which i have made right now for as of now so what you can do is uh, you just uh, go to the screen mode go to the uh, slide show mode and then the slide show mode should show you these slides so this is the best way you can show it to the students uh, instead of just showing it in a video or something you can better uh, create a, uh, slides in powerpoint just snipping it from your uh, uh, desktop and put it in the slides and what are the other advantages actually when you are using like this you can annotate on it suppose if i want to some underline and then explain it and stress it to the students there is something called pen tool over here in the light top right top left corner uh, sorry uh, bottom left corner i am hovering over it you can click on this pen tool and there are many options are available here right now i am interested in pen pen tool so pen color choose your pen uh, you can just choose your pen here and then that will give you a pen icon in the uh, slide so you can just underline anything you want and then point out anything you want and then uh, tell to the students 
and if you want you can try writing it in your mouse if you are having a pen tablet you can write it without any problem but that's okay if you do not have a pen tablet but you can write it in your notepad and then snip it and then put it in the slides like this you can always uh, find out anything you want and then tick mark and then circle it and then show anything you want in this regard okay one more thing i usually face are in my uh, some of my students who are staying in the remote places faces is they are not able to uh, see uh, hear my audio because of the network problem so that uh, powerpoint has one problem one, one nice uh, feature for it if you go to the second corner so the one two third option if you click on that that automates your subtitles see it is listening and whatever i am talking right now it's appearing here in the bottom so in that way the students who are able to see the screen and not able to see or not able to hear my audio can easily at least see the subtitles here whatever i am talking and then proceed with the lectures without any problem okay that's a wonderful option here now you can go back to this uh, same place there are multiple options to for you to uh, explore if you are using two monitors then you can use your presenter view and then go for the uh, multiple approaches etc you can change your pen color here if you click on the pen icon uh, if you click on the pen icon there is uh, eraser eraser pen pen color everything is there i usually use uh, any of the one of the colors here i use i will show you how to set up your uh, powerpoint to replicate your green board and then writing it in white color in the in a while okay so this is a simple setup you can turn off this uh, subtitles at any time you want just by clicking on this button again so the next slides will go give you the next uh, i uh, next whatever you want to discuss and you can discuss this with your students so whenever you use a video call conferencing technique uh, either it is in the zoom or it is a microsoft teams or a webex or any other platform there is an option called share screen you share your screen with your students uh, this powerpoint screen then the students will be able to see better in a better way as you can annotate and then whatever you want you can write it so i am writing it in using mouse itself that's it okay this is the first way you can uh, do it suppose if you do not have a pen tablet to make your life easier now okay. let's see suppose if you have a pen tablet and if you have a touch screen or something or if you are with your tab then you can still use this facility without any issue right so let me uh, yeah one thing i wanted to tell you was uh, this is when you are pressing escape to quit this slide so it is asking you want to save your in annotations if you keep if you click keep then all the notations all the annotations whatever you have done is been kept as it is so for example here i get keep which means all the slides whatever i have given the annotation that will be given so what i do usually is i annotate in the uh, slides to make sure that these are the things have been done then after that i will export my uh, presentation into a pdf format into a desk in, into my folder and then i share that pdf to the students so that the students also get the same effect whatever they have got in the uh, lecture okay so this is one way. this another way is to do is if you have a pen tablet like vacuum or any other pen tablets if you have then you can create you can make your powerpoint as a very good tool to make it as a real uh, experience with uh, students that they see the green board what they usually see in the uh, classroom uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going for that purpose anyway i'm going to delete this uh, two slides from now and i'm going to create a new slide here then uh, i'm going to go to view and then there is a slide master then click on the slide master and uh, in that if you see if you see this select this master uh, page that has been selected then all whatever the format has been done for here is going to be appearing for everybody else also um, yeah so if you click on this then form uh, background styles in the slide masters itself then click on background styles and you have your different format different background to choose it 
but what I want to do is I wanted to click on format background if you click on format background this pop-ups opens and then that asks you to option of actually what how your background to be formatted I want to make my for background as a green board so I'm gonna select solid fill and then click on this button to select your color so my green whatever expected was not available here so I went to the more colors so click on more colors and then that gives you another format so if you see there that by default this would have been selected now I am going to the third option which is the color palettes so click on color palettes and there are options here which will give you the color options in that select web safe colors in that web safe colors there are multiple colors available here what we wanted is double zero double three double zero so click on uh, type that you will get the green color board which you are you are expecting so click on ok select this and click on ok and that makes your board is to be much more similar to what the students are seeing it in the classroom anyway now we have to uh, change the title colors so the title color I usually prefer to uh, keep it in so you go to home and then title color I usually prepare it in a, uh, a and then to make this a little more elegant I usually change the font to uh, Cavallini font which is a, a font which is slightly similar to what is the handwriting and I also change what like to change the text style to uh, some again same Cavallini itself that's all so now you can add your footer you can add your anything you want whatever the whatever you feel comfortable with whatever you can do to the slides you can do the same thing now with this setup you go to the slide master again and close the master and now your board has to be has been made it like a green board so if you click on your powerpoint slide mode then now it shows your uh, green color uh, board so this way you can actually start writing your uh, uh, start writing your uh, lecture so if you click on this uh, pen icon there is a pen color is here you can choose your pen color with whatever the pen color you want and then that creates your icon now I would like to write it in white color itself so now you can write whatever the uh, lecturing you wanted to do over here in with the help of the pen tablet right now I am writing is using my Wacom pen tablet so integral f of x into dx or find integral f of x into dx where f of x equal to x square so I can write exactly what I wanted which I usually write it in the uh, classroom so the students also get the same experience what they get it in the classroom so this gives the better experience for the students as well as the teachers because for teachers also it must be comfortable now finally once I finish my lectures what I do is I just press my escape two times which will end my slideshow and that will ask me to keep the incantation or not I say keep then that gives me the uh, annotations itself and I export this file to the students and then get the uh, and then share it to them that's it you might want to add as many slides you want to uh, write it in the board for example here you can add one by one so you can use your command I think it is alt n for uh, windows uh, for command uh, for mac it is control shift n uh, command shift n so you can add as many slides you want uh, while using your lecture so if there is one hour lecture then I would use not more than 20 25 slides so I add in advance so that I don't have to come back and then add it a new slide in the middle of the lecture so that concludes this uh, particular video uh, thanks a lot for watching I'll see you in the next video thank you